Hello and welcome to this hopefully short, hopefully painless introduction to one of the simplest uh, sol numerical methods for solving uh, ODEs, Euler's method. What we have here is one of my favorite tools for doing any kind of numerical methods, uh, especially for undergraduate work and this is uh, Microsoft's Excel spreadsheet technology, though any te spreadsheet technology would do just fine. Uh, we're going to do. We're going to introduce Euler method via an example. We're using the di differential equation y prime equals minus t times y plus y over four. We're assuming an initial condition of t equals zero, y equals three. We're trying to figure out an estimate for what the y value would be at t equal two point five, and we'll be using uh, t, t steps of point five. Now before we do any kind of calculations we have to make sure we understand what we are doing and I will go back to a slope field and try to explain that to you. Here we have a slope field generated from Mathematica of y prime equals negative t y plus y over 4. I have here the initial value point of 0, 3. As you can see there's 0, there's 3, so this is the t axis this is the y-axis. We are trying to find an estimate for the solution curve that goes through this point and what its value, y value will be at time equal 2.5. So basically there is a solution curve, at least one solution curve that goes through this point and it crosses this line somewhere and as we trace along the slope field, which is exactly what the, the solution curve does, we can see that the solution will have to end up coming through down here somewhere, not going to come through up here. But what will be our estimate of where it goes through down here? Well, we agreed that we were going to do time t steps of 0.5. So what will that look like? Well, starting here, we'll go 0.5 steps as we go along. So our first estimate will occur somewhere along this line and then our next estimate along this line and this line and what we hope we're doing is estimating how the solution curve crosses through here. Now how do we do that? Well let's zoom in and take a look. So we start at this point and in most, uh, most literature we think of this as t old and y old or t zero and y zero. So those are the coordinates of this point. We can compute uh, the slope of the solution curve that goes through this point by using the first order differential equation. And there's usually some function with respect to t and y that the uh, dy dt is equal to. In our case that was the minus ty plus y over 4 that goes here. With that slope what we would like to do is fall along the tangent line but instead of pretending the tangent line is a good estimate of the solution curve for on and on and on, we only follow it along for one times one t step. So what we want is the coordinates of that point right there. Now how do we find that? Well, what we can do is take this t, the old t, and add the change in t, which will be the same every time, what the literature usually uh, denotes as h. So we will just add that h to t old to get the uh, first coordinate of this point here. Now to get the change in y, well, slopes the rise over run of this line and so if we multiply by the run we'll get the rise. Now what is the slope? Well the slope is given by this function right here and if we multiply that by our change in time h we will get the change in y. So this point here will be the old coordinates plus the changes in t and y. The changes in t will be h and the changes in y will be h times f evaluated at this point. And this is basically the algorithm, it's not basically, it is the algorithm for Euler's method. So let's go back to our spreadsheet and try to find at least one way to implement it nicely. Okay, so there's lots of ways of doing this, so I will not apologize for how I do it, I'll just say it is one way that you can follow. So what I'll start off with is a column that is going to have my old t coordinate and my old y coordinate. I remember that I need to find the slope at that point. Then I will want to find the change in my time or my t value. I won't apologize that t often is thought of as time in these DEs and I, I certainly do. And uh, a change in my y and from that I should be able to get the new t value and the new 
y value. So we're starting off with a change in time of 0 0.0, of change in t in 0 0.05, and our new point, our beginning point of being 0 and 3. So to do one step of our algorithm of Euler's method, what do we do? Well, we start with this and think of that as our beginning point. So every time we will say equals, that's how you do in spreadsheet technology for a function, and then we just click on this cell right here, and it puts in the coordinates, F4 for that cell. And what's nice is, as we copy these down, those all these addresses will shift perfectly, so we will only have to do this work once. Okay? So you probably can guess what that cell should be. Equals the new Y becomes the old. Now, here's the only cell that really changes from DE to DE. We need to put in what the slope is at this point in terms of these coordinates. And what is it? Well, it's equal minus this value times Y old plus the old Y divided by 4. So the slope at that point that we saw in the uh, slope field is 0.75. Now, the change in t this time will be the change every time. It will simply be the previous change. We don't want to type that in again. We'll just click on that, and then that value will come up as we copy down. The change in y we saw is given by what? It's given by the change in t times the slope at this point. And then we compute the new point that we saw as the old one plus the change in time, t. And this one will be equal the old value plus the change in uh, y. Bam. And so this right here are the coordinates of that new point we found. Now, the beauty of doing it this way is that as we copy down, that'll be 1, 2, 1.5, copy again. Now this is the coordinates of at t equal 2. And boom, using Euler's method, this right here is our estimate for what uh, the solution curve's value is, 0 0.08652 at t equal 2.5. Now let's go back to the slope field and see what that looks like visually. All right, here we are back at our slope field. Here's our initial point, 0, 3, and I've copied in our table that we created in Excel. And I've tried to color cord things, and I will go real slow on this one. So what happens is uh, first we compute the slope right here. And we want to be able to follow along that line. And how do we do that? Well, we do our change in time, and then our change in y, given here. And then the coordinates of this new point are given by these two points. Now, we want to apply that algorithm again. So the old becomes the new. So these new points become the old points. And then we find the slope there. And notice it's negative. So we want to follow along this line. We want to find the coordinates of that point. Our change in y, t, our change in y. And then these are the coordinates of the new point. Following along. And one more time. And finally our points. That's the point where we found, we think the solution curve will end up at this time step. Now, it turns out, of course, that I've used a DE that I can find the actual solution curve to. Most of them you can't, but this one I can. This yellow curve is the actual DE from this point on that goes through this point here. And notice that even though at the beginning I'm off, uh, just by pure happenstance, my estimation got right on the curve, and then it starts to go off again. So that right here is my error between what the actual value is and uh, what our estimate is. Now, there's better estimates, and that will come in future screencasts. Thanks.